Hi there, my name is Paula, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Equip My School procurement portal. EquipMySchool.com is a purchasing and consolidation agent for hundreds of international, American, and British schools worldwide. And this is our online store. You can use our store to build the order for your entire school in as little as one to three weeks. There are three main sections to EquipMySchool.com. Projects, Shop, and Users. We will go over them all, but first, let's look at the web shop. This is your search bar. Once you type in your item, hit Enter, and that will bring up your search results. Now, you can select your preferred currency here. You can change it between pounds and dollars. If you like, you can also select your preferred origin country here. This gives you um, access to both American and British suppliers at no additional charge, because Equip My School has two locations, one in the US and one in the UK. So if you like, you can narrow your search results by choosing a preferred origin country. But again, there is no extra charge associated with using a mix of both British and American items. As with Equip My School, you have equal access to both. You might also try experimenting with different search terms. For example, now let's try high school Spanish books. Oops, it helps to spell it correctly. As you can see, we have an incredible array of offerings, currently over 19 million items and growing all the time. Again, you can toggle this to experiment with different results. You can price shop from a very wide range of brands, all in one side-by-side -side search. Now, we have EquipMySchool.com set up so that items can only be added to specific orders to prevent mistakes. For example, you wouldn't want somebody shopping for math to add to Mrs. Johnson's Spanish class. Once a teacher has been assigned their budget, that order will become available to them here. But we'll come back to the web shop later. Now I want to show you how to create a project so that you can give teachers their budgets. First, however, you will need to know about users. Here you see a searchable directory of everyone in your school who is involved with ordering. To add a new user, you will just click the green plus sign. You can import many users at one time using a spreadsheet. The key information is the name and email, but any additional information you want to provide is, of course, great. Uh, once you import them, they will all receive an invitation via email and they can begin setting up their own account. Alternatively or additionally, you can add users on an individual basis. The most important information, again, is their name and email. Anything additional is always helpful. We do encourage all users to add a fun picture as it creates a sense of ownership. For example, this mortarboard that you see here is important to understand. This is uh, the indication for top level responsibility. This is only assigned to those with bursar privileges. For example, your school head or your purchasing manager. Most schools only have two or three people in the whole school who receive bursar privileges. They are the ones who give approval to the final order. So when adding a user, if it's a bursar, you would just check this box. In the event that anyone forgets their password, all you do is you search for them here. 
find their name, resend welcome email. That's it for users, not too painful. Let's move on to projects. So on our website, you might think of a project like a container for your entire consolidation order or for everything you would like to receive in one single shipment. Most schools have one project per year to consolidate shipping expenses, but if you would prefer to order throughout the year, we are happy to accommodate that with multiple projects. Here's how you create a new one. Again, you'll use the green plus symbol. Enter your project name, the currency, total budget, and don't worry too much about this if you're not sure the exact amount. It's very easy to change later. Replicate structure from a previous project. This is something you'll use in future years, year two or year 10, if you wanted to duplicate part or all of a previous order. This saves a lot of time down the line. But at this point, since we're making a new project, we won't worry about it. Now delivery details, primary freight contact. You'll select a user here. This would tend to be your bursar. Required goods arrival date. This is the date when you would like for materials to arrive to the school. Now this date will be sent to our logistics director, Helen Cox. She'll review the timeline to make sure that we can meet your expectations for your area. Once she has approved that receipt by date, she'll then set a deadline for when we need to receive your orders for us to meet the mark. If you're ordering for any custom materials, like print-to-order planners or build-to-order furniture, it is vital that you release the orders to us in time for them to arrive to our facilities. Delivery address. This is the address where you can receive the goods. Invoice address. This is the address where you will receive the invoice. And that's it. Create project. Now, once the project has been made, it will look like this. Here's where you would change anything you wanted. Say you wanted to increase the budget, you would just go to this edit icon here and it will bring back up all those details. Very easy to change things later if you need to. Let's go ahead and open this order. This section to the left is the overall container. Here to the right, are the departments. Now each of these departments contains classrooms. We suggest you recreate the overall hierarchy of your school in the exact way that you set this up. That way, your approvals will trickle up through the hierarchy of the school. By the time the requests get up to your top level, to the bursar, they have been polished internally and are ready to go. As you can see, we have divisions here elementary, high school, junior high. To add a new department, you would just click the green plus sign. If it's a department, say languages or high school, you will select this. Select the head, the label, and the budget for that department. Let's go to an example we have ready. So here's high school. It has a gymnasium with a volleyball class managed by Rob. Also, there's a languages department, which is managed by Holly, who has a French classroom, and Julia has a Spanish classroom. The way you add classrooms to a department is just the same way you add departments to a container. It's again with the green plus sign. You would select the name of the orders manager, the label for the department or the classroom you're creating, the budget, which again, you can see is very easy to change. This feature, the access users, is extremely helpful. This is where you would add any collaborators on the order. If a teacher has paras or additional teachers will be helping, You'll just type in a name here. If they're already in the system, it will send, uh, you'll see the option for their name, or you can enter their email address and they will receive an invitation. Now, at this point, 
you might be wondering, what does a teacher see from his or her end? We make things easy for the teachers. Now I'm switching out of the director's view into a teacher's view. In this instance, I'm signed on as Julia. You can see Julia is already signed on with her Spanish class budget. She can only see her assignment, not the overall budget. And she can add to her own order as needed. By clicking on the name of her order, she can see everything in her cart. This can be viewed as a list or as images, as you see here. From the list view, she can click on items and add internal notes, which can be very useful for any collaborators. She can mark it as a priority here, edit the quantity needed here by clicking this edit button. Now let me show you how she adds a new item to her cart. We go back to the shop page. Select an item, enter the desired quantity. Let's say she needs 20 of these. Add to order. Item added successfully. Let's go back to her order by clicking on Spanish class. You can see she can toggle back and forth between needs and wishes. If she goes over her budget, which is here, Anything added from there will automatically go to her wish list. She can toggle back and forth between wish list and need, but unless her budget is increased, when she submits her order for review to her department head, only the items listed as a need will be put through, and she will not be able to submit her order if it is over budget. However, if you need to increase Joya's budget, it's very easy. I'm switching back over to the director view now. You can see we've got languages opened up, and here's Joya's class. We go to this edit icon, and you just tweak her budget there as needed. Now let's go back to Joya for just a moment longer. Once a teacher has finished building their order and submits it for review using this yellow button, for that teacher, it will change over to view only. Then her manager, or whomever is nested above her in the hierarchy you have made, will receive an automated email notifying them that Julia's order is ready to be reviewed. The order can be approved or rejected using a green button to approve and a red button to reject. If the initial classroom order is rejected, that manager must enter brief notes explaining what the teacher needs to fix so the teacher can make all the necessary changes. Once the order is approved, it will then automatically go up the next level in the hierarchy for approval, and so on. When building these orders, your bursar can create the orders for each department head, or you can leave that up for them to do. That's up to your organization. All right, that is our web shop. Our YouTube channel has additional step-by-step -step tutorials and we ourselves are always available for any questions at all, via email, text, phone call, whatever works best for you. You can reach us here at these email addresses and these phone numbers. You might also like to check out our FAQ page for answers to common questions. For example, can I use a supplier that's not on your supplier list or on the website? Of course. Do you charge a fee for your service? We do not. You will always pay catalog rate or less. And what's more, you will always receive the freight charges that we ourselves have received. We operate in the margins provided by our bulk purchasing power as we purchase and consolidate orders for hundreds of schools all around the world. With Equip My School, you always receive fair prices, just as you would if you were to walk into a store in the US, or the UK. With Equip My School, 
You have dedicated representatives helping you every step of the way. You have constant contact with us throughout the whole process. We handle all of the purchasing, all of the consolidation, all the freight, all the customs. At the end, you receive one invoice and one shipment. When your goods arrive, all materials are eligible to be replaced free of charge if necessary. Your satisfaction is guaranteed. To explore our web shop for yourself, please visit equipmyschool.com, scroll to the top, and register your school using the upper left-hand corner. We think you'll like what you see. Thank you so much for listening and for your time and consideration. Please do reach out with any questions. We are always happy to help.